It turns out that the math section is one of the easiest ones to raise on the ASVAB. So go ahead and check out this video where I'm going to break down a few of the mathematical questions just so you can get the practice that you need. Don't let this guy trick you here. It says the square root of 400 is equal to x squared. What is x? First off, the square root of 400 is what? Well, 20 times 20, because that would be 2 times 2 giving us 4, and then 0 and 0 would give us the two zeros here. So 20 is the square root of 400. So 20 is equal to x squared. Now to find x, we have to square root both sides. So we end up with the square root of 20. Well, 20 can be broken down into the square root of 4. 4 times 5. Well, the square root of 4 is 2, so we can bring that out front to say 2 times the square root of 5 that's left over, which means our answer is B. Finding 10% of any number is easy. You just take the decimal place and you move it to the left once. So that means that 10% of 100 is really just 10. So then if I'm taking 10% of 10, just move the decimal place over 1 again, and that means that our answer should be 1, which is A. Number 18 is a terribly worded question. It says, how many digits are to the left of zero in the square root of this number right here? But here's the deal. What does left of the zero mean? Well, in this case, they're actually meaning left of the decimal point. That's just a terrible way of saying it. So in this case, then we're going to look, what would that answer be? How many digits are there? Well, let's say there were four digits. The smallest four-digit number is 1,000. And 1,000 squared gives us this number right here, a one with six zeros after it, so one million. In this case, that is not going to be as large as this number, so our answer is definitely larger than 1,000. But so let's bump up to five digits. This is the smallest five-digit number at 10,000. And in this case, 10,000 squared is going to give us an answer with eight zeros and a one out front, which is nine digits large. Well, this number is only eight digits, so that means that our answer is actually somewhere between 1,000 and 10,000. So therefore, it must have four digits, so our answer is D. So there are actually two types of definitions like this. There's complementary and supplement. So supplementary means that the two angles add to 180, whereas complementary means that they add to 90. So in this case, supplementary, we're looking for the supplement of it. 30 plus what gives me 180? Well, 180 minus 30 is 150. So our answer here is B. I have done a lot of videos on exponent rules. Number 20 is just that. If you have the same base, in this case our base is y, and you're multiplying them together, you're allowed to just go ahead and add the two exponents together. So in this case, y and y with an exponents of 4 and 6, if you're multiplying, it would be 4 plus 6, which is 10. So our final answer is b, y to the 10th power. Now, people, that's only five questions off the ASVAB, so make sure you check out my other videos so that you can keep raising your score in the math sections of the ASVAB. And remember, my name is Daniel Caproni, and if you want to help me out in any way, shape, or form, go ahead and hit that like button below, and make sure you subscribe so you can keep getting videos like this one. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I wish you best of luck on your next attempt at the ASVAB.